mental toughness for me is you see only good in everything. Even if something catastrophic happens, you only see the good. Because there is good in all bad events. There is some good. If tomorrow a doctor tells you you're going to die in cancer in, in six months, well, you got to tell yourself, I'm going to live at another level in these six months because I know these days are numbered. So every day for me is going to be like a year. Every second is going to be like hours for me because I'm going to appreciate it that much. There's got to be something positive in whatever happens. One of my favorite new authors that I'm reading into now is uh, Marcus Aurelius. And he wrote his journals, you know, during the war with the Germanic tribes. He was writing in his journal, and this was just his own personal journal. It wasn't a book. And uh, he was in this situation where he was leading the, the softer generation of Romans. The Romans, they haven't gone through war. They're just living through the spoils of their fathers who went to war and, mm -hmm. and dominated the world. So they weren't ready to go to war and fight these, these barbarians, etc. And um, they were more uh, corrupt and wanted to live the good life, etc. And he's writing in this journal, and... He's considered one of the great, great five emperors. He was one of the, the, the best leaders that Rome ever had. And he, he was basically saying that. He was saying, you have to find the good in every single bad situation. And this is a guy who was on the brink of being destroyed by the Germans. Mm -hmm. He eventually uh, defeated the G Germanic tribes, but it was almost lights out for Rome at that time. And he was he reading this journal of his and his, his thoughts. And he's like, your thoughts are what you soak your mind in, the dye you soak your mind in, and how you see the world. All depends on your thoughts. Because somebody who sees the positive in everything, you can't beat him. You have to kill him to beat him. Because no matter how low you put him down, if there's still a spark, he still believes he can climb to the top. Where if somebody sees the negative and they start to convince themselves they're lost, they're easy to beat. They already beat themselves. I really love that description. Um, and, and that's something that my partners, Ron, Mike, and I talk a lot about is, um, you know, when you're in business, uh, you learn very quickly that you're operating without a safety net, right? So it can all go away, not only tomorrow, it could go away today, right? I could walk off this set only to find out that some catastrophic thing has happened and now we're out of business. Um, and, and that really forces you to analyze, what do I have in my life to fall back on? And you talk a lot about what fighters that have nothing to fall back on, mm -hmm. right? I think you, you quoted Don yeah. Shula, you know, and having a three-tier system of yeah. God, family, and football. That's correct. Um, and, and in business, I find it the same. If you... If you don't have something to fall back on, you're going to be in real trouble. And the thing that we have, have the collectively always focused on is what you just said, which is the guy that has a spark of hope, um, no matter how low you take him, he believes in his heart that he can rise back up. And it's interesting because I've never put that together as being mental toughness, uh, but it's, it, it, it's a pretty core component, certainly, of, I, I of think it's resiliency. A, it's an incredibly important core component because once you're depressed inside, um, it becomes a downward spiral of negativity. You can never let yourself have negative emotions for a, t a prolonged period of time. And actually, that's a great thing. That Marcus Aurelius also says that. He says, whenever you, you lose, you're off balance emotionally, see how fast you can bring yourself back to being positive and, and make it a game, he says. You know, like, just see how fast. Because th for him, thing, bad things were happening every day. Right. You know, literally <laughs> every day. Right. He was betrayed by his best friend. Uh, his wife uh, left him. Uh, you know, all these. He, he'd bring him back, himself back to being centered. And, you know, and he's, this is key because a person like that will be successful down the line in the long run. They're, they're, that's the worst person to face. If that's your enemy, he's never, no matter what you throw at him, he'll never go away. He'll never quit. He, in his mind, it's going to work out in the end, somehow, some way. And I look around me all the time and I see people who were down and out and then came back to make it. They were down and out and they came back to make it. Like you see that in corporations, you see that in individuals, you see that in fighters, you see that in actors, you see that all across the board. So winners see a bad situation as temporary. Winners see a bad situation as temporary. That's it. No matter how down and out you are, it's temporary. 